little bit of a late night unboxing video here for you today. Um, it's been a while since I've made any videos. I've been busy rebuilding my workshop. I'll put some pictures up on the screen for you. And it's gone really, really well. I'm really pleased with the results and uh, I'm hoping it will um, make for a nicer video backdrop. But I'm going, I'm going back to the old uh, camera angles for now because I'm still organizing things over on the new section that I'm going to use for things like this eventually. I haven't got any lighting set up over there and I've got my big lights set up over the workbench so I'm, I'm just going to do this here for now. Um, but before I can do any actual videos uh, I've got I've got some boxes to unpack and these have been sitting here for a while. Um, the, some of them have arrived while I've been rebuilding the workshop look lots of packages uh, and I've got a few people to thank for a few things so let's just get on with it um, before I start I've got these are all bits and pieces that people have been sending me while I've been doing the update videos on the um, uh, oh that one I need to read because I missed this one um, on the on the build for the workshop People have been sending me stuff off my Amazon wish list and it's really kind. And there's one here that I need to say thank you for. Uh, and it's from Ian. And uh, he, he says, finally got it to work from Ian. Uh, he tried to use the Amazon wish list system and, and hadn't managed to get it to work. But he sent me some buttons. And these are, I was actually running out of these. So they're really handy for all sorts of things. Things like the Kung Fu Flash and stuff like that. But that's there. I've got this. This is, um, I'm not going to open this one up. Uh, this is for the charity Amiga. That's the next thing I'm actually going to work on. Although it's not going to make a video. I just need to get it sent out. Um, the, uh, that was that was won by somebody uh, on Twitter. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name off the top of my head. But anyway, Simon Osborne kindly offered a tank mouse. I said I wasn't going to open this and I just went and opened it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look, a tank mouse. Uh, which will work with it's a it's a 2.4 gigahertz and Bluetooth wireless mouse that will work with Atari Commodore Linux. It's got a dongle as well and Apple and Windows. It will work with everything. So that's going in with that with that Amiga when I send it out. All I've got to do on that is sort out the um, HDMI output and the 3D printed. Uh, socket thing for the uh, HDMI ports that I've got on there. Uh, that one I can do in a minute as well as that one. Uh, that one I want to do at the end. Uh, the next the pro the next project that I'm actually going to work on will be the replacement spectrum. So so as of right now the the spectrum that went missing from the charity auctions that we did uh that resurfaced and has disappeared again it looks like the seller that was selling it has had their account suspended they had hundreds of listings there are one of these buyers that are, well, one of these sellers that buys up pallets of items random items from ebay and then just lists them all i've no i mean i don't know why their account has been uh, suspended or but the, all of their listings have disappeared including the spectrum that, that had come back so I think the chances of seeing that again are now vanishingly small <clears throat> it's probably going to get sold on to a private buyer locally I'd imagine but anyway um, so the next project is to replace that Andrew uh, requested the same case. I, I I didn't wonder if he might want a, something slightly different, but he's requested the exact same case. So we've gone for this smoke grey with white faceplate and white keyboard. Um, and there's a new key mat in there. Right, to pair with that is what's in here. Oh, my knife. So Andrew, who won the original charity spectrum that was he won it for 680 pounds uh, and he got his money back because the item never arrived so eBay refunded him but the charity kept 
the funds that were raised. So the only person that really lost out was eBay at that point. But then Andrew decided that he wanted to um, he wanted to donate the money again anyway. Um, and I suggested that we would replace his Spectrum with the money. I mean, it's only fair. He, he paid for a Spectrum. He paid a lot of money for a Spectrum. And he didn't get one. So well, I, I said, I'll use the £680 or some of it to replace that Spectrum. And I thought, because he lives in America, that in fact, the, the original Spectrum, that was the one that came with a tape deck. That wouldn't have worked there. I mean, he could probably have used it on battery, but, you know, that's not ideal. And it would have been a faff to get a video signal out of it. It wouldn't have been ideal. He would have needed a different power supply, that sort of thing. So I suggested that we go for a Harlequin. So I ordered one from Bike Delight. And, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry, bear with me one minute. Mm. Yeah. Ben. Oh. They're so good. So we've got a Harlequin to build. I'll be making a video about that to publicise it a little bit because um, there are some other things that are going to be auctioned off the charity again, including a ZX Spectrum from Lee Smith's workshop and uh, an Amstrad CPC 464, which is down behind me. Uh, from Duncan at Retro Crazy. Once uh, they're all up and running, they'll be auctioned, hopefully around the, around the same time as this goes public. Uh, to go with it, because there was the, the loading mechanism for that 680 pound, the missing spectrum, let's call it now, was gonna be a tape deck. And it came with some tapes from uh, Alan Turvey, uh, new games and uh, and Nigel's workbench gave us a game as well um, and it did I don't yeah I don't think that one had a, a, an SD solution a cartridge type solution so I suggested oh, oh I ordered this a while ago I can't show you this side but this is from um, the future was 8-bit 8-bit eight, eight it was slightly delayed, but it wasn't a problem to me. I wasn't chasing it or anything because I wasn't, you know, I wasn't ready to do it. But it says there's a note in there saying, sorry for delay, tape free of charge, RN. Um, oh, it's, it's Rod. And the future was 8-bit. Oh, what's he sent? Oh, bless him. Let's have a look at the tape first. Oh! Oh, wow! Rodman! <laughs> it's Rod, Rod Hull. Wow, that's lovely. Look at that. Oh, that's for me. I'm keeping that. That's uh, Thank you, Rod. That's really kind. Um, and your service is excellent. So... <laughs> Uh, I didn't expect that at all. Look at this. This is this is marvellous. This this is the right. So the future was eight bit. Let's go crazy on the future was eight bit. Um, they they sell or Rod sells uh, an, an array of uh, marvellous things for our retro machines, um, and I've always noticed. So I already had a Kung Fu Flash, but if I was in the market for a Kung Fu Flash, that's where I would get one now. They are the best quality ones that you can get. You can make them yourself. It's an open source thing, but you're not going to get a case uh, as amazingly well crafted as the ones that he makes. That it, and this is like these little, this is special. It puts a, a piece of tape that so, so you can um, find where, where to open it. What is this? Oh, it's more... <laughs> Oh, I ordered some um, CPC. Um, oh, it's an edge connector cleaning tool. 
I ordered some, uh, uh, I think, can't remember if they're Spectrum or CPC. They are plus two gray drive belts. And I've got a stack of plus two grays over there. So that's going to live up there. So in here, this is the main event. This is what we actually came here for. It is, let's slice that. A Div MMC future, but in white, so that it will go with that beautiful case. Right, let's have a look at what this is gonna look like. So that's gonna look like that. How cool is that? It's very, very cool. And it's got an SD card. Thank you, Rod. If you watch my videos, my dear second channel, so maybe you won't. Someone tell Rod thank you. <laughs> it's all I can do not to eat that other street waffle. In the Harlequin is one thing that we don't want. In fact, this is the kit with no motherboard. There's no motherboard in this in this box at all. Uh, you can buy these from uh, Ben at Bike Delight. So just the parts basically without uh, a motherboard because you can get the motherboards um, yourself from your favorite PCB board vendor. Now, I've used different PCB manufacturers in the past and um, I've used PCB Way and I've used others. Uh, the uh, the thing with the Harlequin boards is Don Superfo has them listed on PCB Way as a shared project that you can order directly from. Uh, and on the GitHub, the, the Gerber files are not available. So the only place that I can find you can actually order these PCBs is PCB Way. So with that in mind, I approached Elaine at PCB Way and explained what I wanted and she agreed to send them to us for free, which is um, just a lovely thing. No, she didn't agree, she offered to send them for free, um, which is a, just a lovely thing to do. These are the boards from PCB Way, and I've not looked at these yet and I'm really dead keen to see them. But look, there's another box here. Now, I'm not sponsored by PCB Way, there's no, there's no sponsor spot here. I'm not going to tell you about their sheet metal fabrication and 3D printing services because you can see that in every other video that you watch on the internet um, uh, without me telling you. But even though I didn't want to have a sponsor spot, PCB Way Elaine still offered to send them for free. So it's only fair that I should say PCB way more than a few times because what a generous thing to do. Oh, we've got some swag. <laughs> oh my word. Okay. Let's, um... <laughs> All right. So <laughs> what have we got in here? We've got a PCB way pen. That's a chunky pen. Oh, this is, um, I've, is this the one? Yes, it's got a light on it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this. So if I slide that switch, it lights up. It's actually pretty cool. So that's going on my desk. Uh, I have need of, oh, I've got a, I have a sticker. I'll put that up somewhere in my workshop, Elaine. Thank you. What on earth is that? Oh my God, 3XL. Are you, <laughs> are you trying to tell me something? I'm a couple of sizes down, but thank you. So the reason that we wanted uh, to get the Harlequin kit from Bike Delight without any motherboards in was because they were black. And the original missing Spectrum had Pur a purple motherboard and that was one of the things that made that was one of the things that made Andrew and his partner bid on the original auction was the color scheme of the original spectrum 
Uh, and I have to agree that the, the purple in that white case looked amazing. I got PCB way to create some Harlequin boards. And we have five of them here in purple. Now these are, the, the ones that come with the Harlequin kit from Bike Delight are, I think they're a uh, revision 2D or E or something like that, they're revision 2 something. These are a 4B and I don't know if there are <laughs> components on here that are not in the kit. That's my only concern. I, I think the kit is going to be a starting point for what we need and I'm probably going to have to order a few parts but uh, yeah these um, these are lovely the other thing that PCB way did and I'm, I've never been sponsored by them uh, and I'm not I'm not into uh, sponsorships yet I'm not big enough I I know that there are channels smaller than mine that have sponsors uh, sponsor spots from uh, various companies including PCB way and that's fine that's you know but I I do this for the, the love of it and I am not interested in earning money from my hobby because I don't want it to turn into work at one some point in the future. If that happens, then so be it. Uh, I'm, I will I'll sell my soul to whoever. There'll be World of Tanks <laughs> adverts all over the place. So this, this is a, a personal... This, is it a... This is, this is a personal note, actually, to me, from Elaine at PCV Way, um, and talking about the potential to do some future collaborations. And I am definitely interested in future collaborations. I'm not interested in sponsorships, not yet. One day, maybe, Elaine. Ah, that one's pretty. It's a bauble. Ah. Uh, um, right, so let's let's whip through the rest of this. I've got some lanyards, and my son Thomas loves lanyards, so he will really like those. And there's a mouse mat, oh, and a massive wrist rest for a keyboard. I've actually because the re, the remodelling I've done for the workshop, uh, I've got a new PC arrangement at this end of the workbench. With I'm going to have I've got stuff piled up on here now. But I'll have a keyboard here with a mouse ma with a mouse, and I'm going to use these. So they were handy. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Very nice. I think it's the mug. I've seen other people's packages. <laughs> Oh my god, look at the size of that! What on earth? And we've got some random stickers in the bottom. PCB Way Christmas stickers. And there's this thing. Which I think is a neck pillow. Yeah. I understand my microphone is underneath here. <laughs> uh, you get the idea. <laughs> and this. Ah, oh, Merry Christmas 2024. It's 2023. <laughs> That's a massive pillow. But is it? box out the way. Ugh. Oh, it's the first time I've seen my workbench for a while. <laughs> what on earth is this? It's basically a... It's a big quilt. Now, my workshop is not heated at the moment, so that's quite nice. 
Yeah, thank you. I, I need to zip that back up because I, I need to show these to Thomas. He'll love these. The last thing before I finish and eat my second waffle is this. This was from Neil uh, from NLK Media, who is um, one of the, my, he, he's the guy that helped me through the charity auctions and without him I couldn't have done as good a job as what we we managed to do he <laughs> he took offense of my pine seal soldering iron and said you need a hacko so he bought me one for christmas and it's not the knockoff one it's a genuine one cheers neil i'm really looking forward to um to having a crack with this because I'll go. So I bought, I had already, um, where is it? That's a pine, that's the original pine seal. And that's a decent soldering iron. And I leave uh, that big tip in it so that I've got something that can desolder or solder on heavy ground planes. But this does struggle on uh, things like, what was it I was doing? The Amiga 12, no, the Amiga 600 with those heavy earth ground planes it doesn't doesn't it really struggles so i bought this pine seal 64 which is i mean it's exactly the same in thermal capacity and everything but um the 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 reason i can't remember the reason i got this was that the original one wasn't rated up to 24 volts and i was using a 24 volt power supply and this one um is so I, I plug this one in and it just goes crazy the temperature display flies up and down so i'm hoping that this will solve my problems i've actually uh, gone out and bought myself genuine hacko tips um i've got i got two chisel tips uh, one two mil and one three mil which is under there and the witch's nose uh, tip as well um, ready to go it comes with a conical tip but no one uses that so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna have fun setting this up and uh getting used to using a different soldering iron from what i've been using all this time but uh, it's gonna be fun thanks neil you are a gent and merry christmas so that's that's all of that for now uh i hope you enjoyed watching me unpack for an early, a load of early Christmas presents. And I hopefully will be getting a video out before Christmas on the new build. It might take me a, a little bit of time to get used to my new way of working and, you know, within this new space. It really has changed quite a lot. I, I, um, I have really drastically changed the layout. But it should make things better because I won't have to trip over boxes. I mean, before there were just boxes piled up behind me. And, and it wasn't a good look. But um, what, I've got more to do. I've got lots more to, to get ready in here. I'm going to do a, a, a workshop tour. It's just a brief video. Again on this second channel. Uh, eventually I'll get a video out on the main channel. But I just want to show you the new layout. And the whole workshop. And uh, how it all fits together. But anyway, thanks for watching. If I don't see you before Christmas, have a lovely time. And I will see you in the new year as well. Or something like that. I don't.